Welcome back. We're ready for the beach because tomorrow is the 4th of July. Woohoo! And I'm going to make my first blue drink of this week, um, which is going to involve uh, Captain Morgan's or any spiced rum, the blue carousel. Car carous carousel. Carousel. That's a stupid word, too. And uh, coconut rum, Malibu rum, if you have it, some pineapple. Mm, it's going to be great. But first, we are going to make today, well, first of all, you probably think, oh, her eyes must be bloodshot. She probably was out all night last night. No. I'm just ready for the beach. I'm so excited. I had a great vacation, and I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm ready to eat. I need to start cooking, so I'm going to get my pans going. Uh, we are making chicken parmesan sticks, and they're going to be little bites on these sticks. So... That's what we're doing, but first, you know, how I have to have a little snack because it's like a little hungry. So I'm going to also make <laughs> stovetop stuffing. I should have got the chicken kind to go with the chicken thing, but, you know, I don't think that far ahead. And I had this, so I am going to make that as well. And then I will eat that because I will eat that while our chicken sticks are getting done because um, that's how I roll. Because I'm hungry, and I just just saw something that I don't think I have, but we'll get by without it. It was supposed to be a fresh parsley. I thought I had dry somewhere, but oh well. It's not going to make or break it. I'm going to eat it anyway. So, anyway, let's get our drink out of the way. We'll make that. Uh, oh, did I tell you what? We're having mermaid water. Mermaid water. Uh, I'm going to have a, a theme beach drink today. And our little coaster will be the seashells. Okay, but first, 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 got my pans going. The par chicken parmesan sticks, let me um, get this for you, but let me um, get my stuffing because that's most important. This is my cheater box, but I don't care. I could never, ever make stuffing. I, I tried once without a recipe. I asked my mom, how do you make it? She, you know, told me verbally. Because she doesn't do recipes. She just has made it all her life, but it did not turn out. So I, I like this just as well. And I love the sage. Oh, I got turkey, but sage. I couldn't find it. Couldn't find the sage. Dang it. I guess I could have put a little sage uh, seasoning in it, but I didn't. You know, when you're on vacation for a week, your brain is kind of shut down for that week. And it's like, now i got to get back into the thinking mode for the most part. But anyway, um... We're going to do one and a half cups water and a fourth a cup teaspoon. A fourth a fourth, four table, oh, four tablespoons of butter. I like how they think thinking. So let me get that going. This is so easy to, if you guys like want a snack, oh my gosh, this is the easiest thing to whip up. One and a half. And, and once again, I know you guys, I'm supposed to have. I gotta go get saucepans. I gotta go to Home Goods and just buy them, you know. But I'm gonna make it in here. I know it's not the conventional way, but I'm gonna just do it anyway. Because I want you guys to see. Nothing worse than seeing somebody uh, cooking and you can't see what they're doing. I mean, it's bad enough you really can't see what I'm doing, but let me get the recipe over there. Uh, so I'm going to get that to boiling with my butter. I didn't get butter out, and I got butter yesterday, so everything is fresh. Oh, this makes me happy, too. I should just do what's in my fridge. Everything in here right now makes me happy. I, I've got such a cool thing. Maybe I should. I got because I went to the grocery store yesterday. But oh, my Parmesan cheese, you guys know how I love my cheese. Mm. But, yeah, maybe I should do that because... Not that it's that interesting. I should go through my um, freezer because I got so much stuff in there. I just need to clean it out, I think. So once again, I already I got the half sticks. So my four tablespoons is a half a stick. I don't really have to do anything with that. Leave that puppy out. Okay. So that's a lot. Four. And I'm doing this without my glasses, and maybe I just better look just to make sure you guys. Okay, um, yeah. Cut up margarine and butter in a microwave bowl. Cut up margarine. Oh, that's the microwave stuff. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. Getting a slow start here today, you guys. 
But anyway, it's okay. It's okay. I didn't do uh, social media while I was gone much so, and, and, because I, you know, I was visiting family, I was visiting friends, and none of them are on social media, so I don't want to impose that way on them. So I'm like, I just take the whole week off. You guys will understand. And I'm not one. I I would try to. I tried one week to plan ahead, like do some other videos, but it just didn't work out for me. I don't know. Sometimes I I know you have to have it unlisted, and then it would. And then when I published it and have it unlisted, it came up publishing, and it's like, oh, then I would have like three in one day. So it's like, I think I just have to go day by day with the video. I. I'm not, I'm not like the experienced YouTubers. I might keep this for, never know, we might need it. Okay, so, got my snack already going. So once that's going, we're going to add this and we're going to stir it and then remove it from heat. That's really, this is simple, five minutes, six, seven, eight, by the time you get it boiled up. So let's just get that going. Oh my gosh. You know, they used to have a regular, uh, back in the day, a regular seasoning packet. And then they would have the dressing part, but I guess it's all together now. Hmm. Okay. Well, that will work. Trash goes in there. Let's get a scissors. But I really did miss you guys. I, I was like, ah, I miss cooking and I miss my drinks. <laughs> it's like, there's... Trying to be healthy while I was on my vacation. It was it was nice. Went to Arizona. It was like 117 degrees. Luckily, I was by a pool, but it's like, whew. I mean that if, that'll make you not want to eat, right? So, anyway, spoon, spoon, spoon. Let me get one out of here. I don't even have my fancy my fancy spoons up here. Let's go over here. Get that going, boiling. Okay, so anyway, let me tell you what the recipe is going to be. It's going to be, um, it's a large version. I, I think I'll probably make it all because I can eat them cold out of the fridge. So I'm gonna make try and make the whole recipe. It says uh, three chicken breasts, you cut in half and then half again, but I don't even know, I think there's two in here. So, let me just rinse that off and get that dry real quick. And then we'll go on with our recipe. Aww. But I hope you guys all get a vacation this summer. I mean, it's so good to get away. Not that that's going to be my only vacation. Now that I don't have to get up and go to work, I have a little bit more time. Time. I'm going to get this out and just lay the chicken breast on there so they'll just... Dry a little bit. Yeah, well, them are big puppies. Wow, that was one big chicken. That kind of amazes me too. It's like, that's a big thigh. What kind of chicken? Where do they raise them big chickens? Because growing up on the farm, I never saw a big chicken breast like that. But turkey breast, I could see it. But all right, perfect. Ooh, you guys. It's a boiling over here. Can you see that? So we're going to add this and stir it. For those of you who have never made dressing, so top stuffing is the way to go. You know, I guess if I really had a recipe, I could follow it. But this is just so simple. I guess if I was having like a big family gathering, but my kids too, they never ate dressing. Callie, she'll eat dressing, but that's about it. So why even go to all that work? Like get it dry out the bread or something? I don't know, but. Oh. And voila, it's gonna be done in five minutes. Or sooner if you can't wait. I, it's just gotta get a little softer, but. Oh, there you go. Still top stuffing, you guys. Perfect. That's even faster than mac and cheese, I think. But out of the craft mac and box, you know. Although they do have the instant ones now, I guess that you get out of the um, microwave. Oh, just saying. Okay, so that says turn it off. So we'll turn it off. I just let that sit there. Mm, that's gonna look good. Okay, going on three chicken breasts. 
And uh, I suppose you could do a thigh meat if you want. If you don't like white meat, a lot of people don't like white meat. Um, you're going to have two eggs that are beaten. We're doing a panko crumbs with a pinch of pepper flakes, it says. Oh, now I thought I had the pepper flakes, too. I am, sorry, you guys. I I used them in something, didn't I? I know I bought them. Because I, oh, here they are. Because I thought, I'm never going to use these again. But, oh, here we go. We'll, we'll try them. We'll definitely try them. So, and then, uh, oh, a cup uh, Parmesan cheese and... Also with that, you can do the tablespoon parsley, which I forgot, so I'm just going to do the Parmesan, and I could grate it, but I'm going to cheat, because we've got to put these in the oven, so I also got this, because it was a really good deal, it was on sale again, like two bucks off, I mean, just saying, so let me just put that in there, since that's going to go in a, in a bowl all its own, the pineapple out of the way, oh. mm. Smelling good in the mama's kitchen. All right, let's get this big weapon out. Oh, it got purple. I love color. Can you tell I love colors? I do. I really love them. Okay, so you can measure or not. I figure if I run out, I'll just put more in. And like, like you know my motto. Can't have enough cheese. Cheese. Okay, so that one is just going to be like that. Since I don't have my parsley. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let me get through. You're going to need skewers. You know, you don't even need skewers. But I'm just going to try it like this. Because I think it, this was probably like for a kid's recipe. But it's like, oh well. I like skewers. I'll try some on skewers and some not on skewers. And then they'd just be Parmesan bites. So... I don't know. We'll see. You, because you know what? Uh, then you okay. Let me go on with the recipe. Sorry, sorry. And then flour, egg. Uh oh, and and flour. Yeah, I guess we already did that. Did we do the flour and the salt and pepper? Yeah, because this is the order that we're gonna do the flour and the egg batter and the breadcrumbs. So let's get our egg batter around. Oh, two eggs beaten. No, I'm gonna put them in the measuring cup to beat them. A little easier. Okay, and that's all the eggs. I told myself too when I got back from vacation, I'm going to start getting up in the morning and eating eggs every morning. Just have two eggs, maybe one piece of. I love English muffins, so a half an English muffin. Here I am again doing just the egg whites, you guys. Thanks. I could I could hear you guys. So thank you so much. But uh, that's what I thought I would do. I'm going to get up, have my coffee, and I usually wouldn't eat, but then I would get so hungry. So I'm just going to get up, have coffee, and then maybe in a half an hour have um, my eggs. Because it's healthy, and I'll have something in my stomach. And they didn't have the jumbo. My jumbo eggs yesterday at Bonds, I did not have them. They had... 18 of uh, the extra large. They, they were okay. Those weren't too bad, but um, I had my jumbo, so I didn't get any, but I, I had some anyway. Okay, so in our two eggs, that's all we're going to do. Just the eggs, I guess. Okay. So, just get that rinsed off. Oh, it's so weird to be cooking after a whole week. It's like, oh. Okay, next we're going to have the panko crumbs. I'm just going to sit that there. You know what I'm going to do? Because it doesn't say to do this step, but I'm going to try it anyway. It just says to uh, bake these at 400. Let's, let me get my oven going too. Because that'll take a while. Oop. 405. They probably wouldn't come out if it was 405 degrees. But always make sure, if you're like me, I have to make sure that I have no extras in here. I always got my cookie sheet, but I'm going to put a parchment paper down because it's just so easy to clean. But uh, we're good to go because I didn't have anything in there. Put the parchment paper 
we're in uh, so little. I don't know what I had in there that would have been a little oily. <gasps> Got this for my splatter screen because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some oil and I'm going to brown each side of some of them. Maybe all of them. I don't know, but because I kind of like it a little crispy and I the recipe didn't really call for that. So once again, I'm just going to go for it. The rear, so you guys can't see. I got all my alcohol in the way. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Flour, egg, bread crumbs. Oh, I know. The panko. Now that I'm reading it, the panko uh, and the Parmesan cheese and the pepper flakes and the parsley all going this bowl so let's finish that bowl up but let me get my oil in let me just do 10 things at once <laughs> it's okay it's okay so I don't need as much as like if I was deep frying a whole thing because I'm going to turn them so I just I just probably put a quarter of an inch of my vegetable oil in there you could put any oil you want Whatever your taste buds feel like, that's what you should do. So, okay. So, um, on the panko crumbs, it says a cup. A cup to a half a cup of the Parmesan. But I'm, I'm a Parmesan freak, so I probably, I probably put a cup of Parmesan in there easily. Let me put this away so we have some room. So we have some room when we make our drink. Mm -hmm, mm. Okay. Now let me get the flour in the other one. And then we're ready to cut our chicken. After I have a bite, of course, of my dressing. Because I told you guys I was starving. And it's like, oh, torture over there looking at it. Okay. My salt and... One would think I would have tried to get that fixed, but I didn't. It's, it's, whatever. Sometimes it seems like just too much work. So just salt and pepper to your tasting. Yeah. Yeah. A little salt. And salt. And that's probably good because I think my cheese will give it enough saltiness flavor. Okay, let me just... Taking up last utensil, so I'll just use this little puppy. Make sure the oil's getting heated up there. And I'm gonna do this one too. Yeah, you know what? That's not gonna work with that. So let me use a skewer. Oh, my red pepper flakes too. Let me put them in since I guess this adds a little zing to it. I'm not for sure about these. I'm not going to put too much in. This one just has a pinch of them, so that was probably two pinches. Two pinches. Okay. And then I'm just going to... Let me just mix that with the skewer stick. See? We found another use for skewer sticks. Hmm. Hey, I'm all about not doing the dishes today. I am going to get up, though, you guys, and do a video tomorrow because it is the 4th of July, and I, I am going to attempt a red, white, and blue drink tomorrow. Stay tuned. And also, have something that's quick and easy that you could uh, you could take what I'm making tomorrow to the beach. But uh, this last thing you want to do is cook on a holiday, right? I guess barbecue would be okay. All right, you guys, that is done. So, um, my dressing, I'm going to put it in a bowl and get that off of here. Oh, that's, I'm like that. I didn't use all the panko, did I? All right, so let me just get that out of here. Let me know if you guys have snacks while you cook. It's like, sometimes I just can't wait. 
because I didn't have my two eggs this morning, like I said, I was gonna, because I knew I was gonna cook early this morning, and it's already almost noon, but oh well. What are you gonna do? Get a fork, because I've started running again. You know, I stopped because of my knee. Oops, sorry guys. And um, so it, it feels pretty good. You know, I, I'm gonna try and do it every day. And I just feel better. I fit into my clothes better when I run. And when I stopped running, I, you know, it just, it don't feel as good. So that I am doing. But anyway, let's try our dressing first. Mm. Mm. Hey, how'd it do? Mm. That's really good. I haven't had this. Gosh, I haven't had this for a long time. Oh, you know what else? Oh, I could. My mouth wins. <coughs> Sorry, I'm eating it so fast. I'm so hungry, but um, and maybe I'll make it too sometime. But if you put in sage sausage, I think Jimmy Dean had some. Uh, make your sausage up first and then put it with this and cook it. Oh, that's really good. I forgot about that. Hmm. Hmm. What was I thinking? But if you make that with the sage sausage, that's a meal. That here you go, here you go, family here. But and this then that would feed me like two, three times. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love that. All right. I know. You guys are probably screaming, come on, I'm ready, come on. I want to get to the mermaid waters. Like, me too. Mm. Me too. These are kind of funky shorts. I don't know. I said funky. With an M. But they're comfy, so I'm wearing them. And that's how I'm rolling today. Actually, it's summer. I'm just rolling whatever. Whatever the mood hits. Mm. Okay, so. Now. Let's cut this chicken out. And oh, you know what, you guys? Okay. Anyway, what I'm going to say is like, I need a bigger kitchen, right? When I was on vacation, the people that I visited had huge, huge kitchens. I'm like, oh. You're so lucky. I'm like, I would, I would just love to have something like that. And I should, should have done a, a video in them, but oh well. I figure someday I'll have a little bigger one, but it's okay. It works for me. If it works for you guys, you know. You know what? I'm not even, I'm going to cut this. As you all know, this is my um, thermometer, my cooking thermometer. Four. I don't want to get that by the chicken. My cooking thermometer to test my oil. Let's see how hot it is. Probably someday I should invest in one of them, but I'm going to George Foreman grill first. We'd be grilling up lots of stuff. Mm -mm. All right. So, if I cap all this for my taster. Test taste testers. You know what I had last night? I wasn't really hungry. I had a and then I. Um, took a shower, washed my hair, and I thought, I'm going to do, I was going to do a video, I was going to do a drink and a quick sandwich, and all of a sudden, I don't know what I did, but I knocked my finger into my contact, and it was just, it, it just was instant pain, and I couldn't get rid of it, so I had to take my contacts out, and, and I wasn't going to do the video with my glasses, but it just hurt so much, like it was just suction on there, and I'm like, okay, not good. All right, you guys, here comes the chicken. Probably am done with that, but just in case I'm not. All right, so I wanna make these thinner because otherwise they take too long. And it does say cut them in half and then in half again. So let's just do that. Oh, that's not bad. I thought they'd be squishier. Can you guys see? Probably not, I got all that stuff in front of you, but. When I watch cooking shows, 
everybody's got their big diamonds and wedding rings on, and they're all cooking with that gook. I thought, now you got to clean all that. I mean, I hope they would clean all that, but... I have my wand, but that's, that's nothing. So I guess you guys can do the chunks how you want, how big you want them. Like, I would think this is a good size chunk. So I'm just going to stick a skewer in that. I guess if this is supposed to get your, maybe your kids to eat more in that, I don't know. But, oh, let me put that back on the towel. That's a good thing for that. You guys are probably wondering what those graham crackers are for. Hmm. Actually, they're for the drink. That's how we're going to rim our glass. So it looks like sand for mermaid water. Let's see. These are going in the flower first, so let me just don't put them in there. Okay. They are looking pretty good. I also, I also told myself while I was on vacation. Oh, good. Thank you. That I need to eat more chicken. It's better for you than the red meat, but I still eat my red meat, but I just have to put um um this one I'm not gonna do, it's a little thin. Just have to incorporate that into my diet. Okay. Anything that doesn't really look like a cute little thing on the skewer, I'm just gonna uh coat with this stuff and bake it the way it is. So it's just my bites. My bites. Okay. Is it looking? Okay, those are pretty good. That could be on the stick. And not that one. Okay. All right, so let me, I'm gonna cut all this up so I can get done with the cutting part of the chicken. I'm gonna wash myself up in bread and coat and do some, like I said, we'll, we'll test out some in the oil and then some without. Obviously it's gonna be easier to just put them all in the oven, but Sometimes I just want to experiment because I think if I did uh, chicken palm, chicken parm, I guess, I would, um, I would want to uh, get it a little golden brown on top. Okay. Now these are all different shapes and sizes, so probably some will get done a little bit before the others, and that's okay. I'll just pull them out since I'll be right here by the oven. Oh, I didn't know what to do with my hair today, you guys. Sorry. I just... It was a mess. I'm like, okay, time to throw it up. That's why it's good to have it a little longer so I can tie it up or clip it up or whatever. But I know they say the the little bites are for the kids, but hey, I think adults. I like I think adults like bite size too. A lot of adults take the chicken tenders, but I bet they want the chicken nuggets. I bet they think, oh, those are for kids. When they're really for everybody. Okay. One more. And while I was gone, I didn't listen to the news at all, so I had no idea what was going on, but it was great. It was really, really great. Okay, you guys. Let me get that in. Wash my hands up a little and start again. Okay. Okay. All right. So, let's taste test. See if that's going to work. Let me just do them all. And then let me get a one more. Oh, that we can use in a bit. One more little napkin or paper towel, whichever you have. Also, since we have a mermaid, we're having little umbrellas for our garnish and lime wheels. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So it looks like our onion or our onion our oil is hot. So I'm gonna wait and get these out of here and then 
We'll put the chicken parmesan bites in. Nice, nice, nice. So anyway, here's a plug. If you guys are doing anything July 21st, go to Anaheim. Trisha's, Trisha Live. She's having herself live with um, some guests and eating and cooking. And I might, I'll be there. I might even cook. Who knows? Who knows what's in store? But if you want to come, be glad to meet you. We're going to meet everybody because it's a small venue, so that'll be good. I'm excited about that. And it's during the middle of the day, so won't take up much of your time in the summer, right? Mm -hmm. This is my two-course meal. I have my first course. Okay. Mm. Onward. Okay. Flour, egg, breadcrumbs. Okay. So, flour. I want to get the bottoms of a coated too egg and actually this works really good for the egg you can just dunk it and then the breadcrumbs and the cheese you know what I'm gonna put this in the oven I'll just stick that in there okay so I, let me see if I kind oh I have my phone here for the time uh, okay Got it, because you do not want to undercook chicken at all. Mm, not a good idea. Okay. Let me get, I'm just going to use my fingers for the ones I'm going to put in the oil. Oh my gosh. I need a drink. I need a drink real soon. Okay, so I'm going to just do one side of them. Like that, and see what happens. Oh, I got the egg. Oh well. Ooh, you know what? I might have like deep fried parmesan in there. Okay. I like chicken, but I think I will. I'll like it better with a little something. Coated on it. You used to, remember the shake and bake they used to have? I don't. Do they still have that? My grandma swore by shake and bake, and it was okay chicken, but my mom made it really, really good anyway. Okay, I got a tong. Let me get my hands off my hands. So thin water, because we are all about salmonella and not get getting it right. Let me turn that over. Turn this one over. So yeah, that just gives it a little more Christmas crispness. I can't talk today. And then we'll stick it in the oven and bake it. Because I think with that now, we probably only have to do those for another 20 minutes. But, mm. I guess today I'm just going to eat in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, so get the oven open and get them in. Ooh, actually like how that looks in the oil. It'll probably be so good. And this one. Okay. Ooh. I'm so excited. I've never made these before either, so let's do the sticks. I guess the sticks could go in the oil too. I just don't feel that's enough egg. It's going to make it through my. And I only have two chicken breasts, so. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Let's do that then. I don't know. Maybe I just used too much. I feel like I run out of stuff. But. Digging it. Okay, one more. And then I think I'll just do the chunks because that works for me. I'm a little kid at heart, but I don't need a stick to eat my chicken chicken parmesan. 
Although the recipe is chicken parmesan sticks. But it's okay. It's okay. So I got a little sun. I was getting pretty white. But I used a lot, a lot of sunblock. Where by that I got the sport sunblock when I was in a pool, so I almost think you couldn't. Eat. I'm even surprised you, you'd have to bake them if you're doing them on top of the stove, but we'll try it. It won't be that long. Mm. But yeah, if you're in here, and I love I love the Arizona weather, the dryness and that. I never had. My, well, my nose was dry, but I never had, like, runny, runny anything. No runny eyes, no runny nose. It just zaps it right out of you, so. You don't have that. Of course, now I'm back here, and now, now I'm sneezing or whatever, but it's okay. I had to move to Arizona. I like Arizona. But, I don't know. Pretty, pretty hot if you don't have a pool. You're just stuck inside, you know? All right, you guys. Let's get this little one out. This one's done. And we'll bake him the rest of the way. Okay. You know what? Let me get my trusty, just new cupcake pot holder out. Get that on there. Yeah, I think I'm going to like this. But we're still going to have some that aren't deep fried. I call this deep fried. <gasps> oh, when I was in Arizona, so I forget what, what story were. I think it was just Walmart. We don't have Walmarts around here. And I'm so, a Friday at it. I'm like, oh, if I could just get that home. But I was still traveling on to other cities. So I, they got to have one here. I'll look up a Walmart. Friday at I don't know if Target has them. That's what I need. I need me a Friday at That would be perfect. But then you guys couldn't see, I feel, but I probably need something a little higher. But this is good. This is a low, oh, in fact, I don't even need it. Oh, it's on six. I probably should just put it on five. But it's all you need for stuff like I do. I mean, if I was hardcore, like, did all my shrimp and stuff like that, I would. Actually pretty quick and easy if you come home from work and you, and you want some chicken. It doesn't take long. I always think it did and I'm like, oh. I like to already get a chicken breast done that has stuffing in it too. So I'm kind of doing it, but I don't have the stuffing in my chicken. I have it in my bowl. But anyway. to Chipotle too the other day. I'm, I'm into them protein balls. Get the double corn salsa and the cheese. I love that white cheese. And then I always got to have the Chipotle dressing. So good. What else do I have on there? That's it. That's all I have. And they got really good queso now. I don't know if you guys have tried it yet, but it's really good. Let me throw some of these in. Just throw all the chicken in there. We'll just do like do one big wad right all in there. Put that in. I feel like I can get this off of there and disinfect it later. Okay. There's a lot of people off work this week, I guess. I see outside and people are back and forth and back and forth. So they're here, they're at the beach already, and I was here when I jogged yesterday on the beach. It was really, really crowded for a Monday, so. It's a happening, let me get this off. This was where the raw chicken was too. I don't need my splatter screen, so I'll put that back there. Okay, it's perfect. Look at all this room we have. Let me get these sticks in, they're all done. Sorry guys. And yes, if I knock my teeth out, I'll have to live with it, but. Okay. I'll put that one there. 
I'm going to put the ones that I first put in up front, so make sure they all get time, time in there. Okay. Now it's time to flip these little puppies. They're not puppies, they're little chickens. Come on, my little chickies. So see how easy it's just they're browning and then we'll just bake them that way they get that little crispiness I love that My strength up. Oh my gosh, you guys went dark to get on me. You don't know that, but you did. Okay, so keep my strength up. I will have. Mm. When I left, I forgot to stop my mail, and everything was stopped into my little mailbox. Come on. Mm -hmm. I hate that. Because then it all gets wadded and folded it and got to read through all the crinkles and not cool. You know, I think I could do fried chicken like this. I'm going to have to try it sometime. I'll try it with you guys. I've never done it. Oh. Don't lose your breading. That's the most important. Mm, yeah. Okay. Kind of going to make room for this big clump because I don't need it to all be perfect for me. I'll just see the perfect. Not that I'm going to be perfect, but the perfect ones with you guys. Ready? One. My little chicky chicky. Two little chicky chicky. Oh my god. I've watched too much Sesame Street also on vacation. <laughs> They've got all different people though since I've seen it, so. Oh well. Okay, you guys, watch and learn what I am going to do. I'm going to freak you guys all out, but this is why you watch me, I'm sure, because I just do things when they get too tedious or I've just got to get it going. I'm going to just put all the flour on my chicken, okay? And this is, they're all traveling together, these little chicken chunks. Okay. Now I'm going to take a handful that I've already floured. I'm going to dip it in the rest of the egg. I'm going to use it all up. And then my panko. And yeah, every side is not going to get crispy, but you know what? There it is. I blobbed it in. Probably. There. Okay. See? See how easy that was? Oh, but I ran out of panko. But that's okay. I'll put the rest of the egg in. So it's like my countertop. Did you guys ever notice? Okay, maybe just put a little more flour on top. Going. Okay, I'm gonna flop that in. All right. You know me. If there's any cheese in there, I will get it out. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is a kind of messy thing with your uh, panko flour, but it's going to be so worth it. So worth it. I haven't even gotten, I haven't even looked at anybody's videos or YouTubes, but I heard Mar uh, Miranda sings, I forget what her name, her name is, but I see she's pregnant, so congratulations and good luck to you and dad. So exciting. So exciting a time when you have a child. So, that's pretty cool. I think Trisha was over there too um and she goes mom i knew she, i i thought she was i'm like oh that's cool mm, so. like my i have another granddaughter coming but you can tell there's just that glow about them and even if they're not far along there's just something different they're they're happy 
happy people. Happy moms! Bringing another little one into the world. If I would do it again, I would do it all over again. I'd have my children. But I gotta say, as a grandparent, you have more time to play with them and then give them back to the mom and dad. But they're good. Okay, you guys, I am cleaning up, get, get ready for this mermaid water after I'm going to get all of my, uh, oh, I cleaned up pretty good. But, all right, drink time. I feel like I need something on top, but we'll bring this over. First, you'll need a coaster. No, you don't, you don't really need one, but. It's best if you do. Let me just see how our, our big chunks are coming. Oh, see, that works pretty good, you guys. See that big chunk? That stay together, and it, it don't have to, but that's probably how you could do it if you're in a hurry. Just put out everything in a big bowl with the flour. Okay. And then just whip it over all at once. Okay. Let me get the littler ones in and... So good. See, this is how it's looking in the oven. I got my some of my sticks, some of my not sticks, and there goes my parchment paper. Okay. Come on. Here we go. And yes, I'm a kind of a little messy cook, but it's okay. I'm the one who has to clean up. And also, I'm the one ready for my drink. Okay, so. First, we're going to do, it's a two, you could do uh, two ounces of Captain Morgan. You're going to do whatever you do for Captain Morgan. You're going to use the same for pineapple juice. And then we're just going to splash in the coconut rum and the blue Curacao. I've been saying it all morning and now it's like I'm, I'm second guessing myself. And uh, a splash or squeeze of lime juice, which I'm cheating today. I did get this because... I do have a lime though for the garnish. I'm not, I do have that. There it is. There it is. Okay. I'll cut that up there. So let's start out with the Captain Morgan. I'm going to do that before I do my ice. Come on, you guys. We got to go in the oven. Let's get brown. These are all getting pretty brown. They don't have as much parmesan on them, but it's okay. All right. So by the time those are ready to go in the oven, the first ones will be done. Let me just check my time. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. So let us make our drink. Mmm. We want our mermaid water to have sand. It's got to involve sand. Yeah. I got these Nabisco grams. I always get honey made. Oh my God, I was talking to her this much. Ago. What are those for grand crackers? I'm like, these are, these are the original. I said, these probably were the only ones out when I was a kid, so I got them. But usually I get the honey made. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to try them because, you know, I thought too, when I want um, a snack, I love dipping just a couple of these in milk. Let that grain crack cracker soften up. Mm, my goodness. It is good. So, and those can be addicting, but I figured they're better, probably better than cookies. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is an extra step, but you know what? If you want a nice, pretty drink, it's worth it. All right, and then I'm going to smash them up. Let me get this out. I think I need to put that chicken in there pretty soon, too. But I'm just going to do... I'll do a couple. I should taste them. I don't even know. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then when I open one, instead of folding them because they get ew, I'll get... Um, I'll put them in a... Is it black? And then they're good to go. 
Now you can smash them with your fingers, which may be all I need. I got a rolling pin too, because some, sometimes people just want to roll them. Because maybe they get a little finer if you roll them. And it would be nice to get it really, really fine like the sand. So I hope it's keep rolling. Otherwise, it's like rocks around the rim that are in the sand. Ah. So I was watching the news for the first time. I see Andy Dixon trouble again. That guy. Poor guy. He has a hard time keeping his hands to himself, I guess. Uh, he was on, I think, uh, Life Swap, the celebrity version one time. I think I was watching it with Trisha. I'm like, okay, but he, he wasn't married. He had a, uh, a girlfriend that was on it with him, I believe. I believe. I don't think he was married. Maybe he was. I don't know. Okay, you guys, now before we get our drink rimmed, I'm going to put the rest of this chicken in there. So, I'm just going to bring it over here and put them all in there. They almost look like scallops. You know what would be good if you made this? If you were doing the oil in a cast iron skillet, you could just put the whole thing in instead of doing what I'm doing then. That would save you some time, especially if you're in a hurry. I used to have cast iron skillets and then they, they got ew. I suppose I should get some more because you can do everything in there. You can do desserts in there. You can do skillet breakfasts. Cobblers, oh my gosh, apple crisp. Okay, you guys, I think, I think I got it all. Oop, what's that little, what's that little birdie? Did you fall off a little bit? Okay. So, there we go. That we have. Done, done, done. And done. Okay, so, just make sure I put them all towards the back. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so those should be about 10 minutes yet, you guys. And so if you get this graham cracker fine enough, I think you, you could probably put it on with just water when you, you know, you got to wet it to get it stuck together. Uh, you could use a, a simple syrup. That's a little stickier. But but I think I'm going to use a combination of really doesn't have to be up there, does it? Yeah, let's put it over here. Cool down. Okay. Oh, we forgot to taste test our nacho chips. Huh? Mm. Okay, so. I'm going to get a little water, I think. I'm going to do whatever you want, because I'm going to add a little agave to mine. Did I get it out? Oh no. Oh, there it is. That way it's a little sticky and I'm sure it will adhere to the glass. You don't need a lot. And since I didn't use my all my skewers, I'm just going to get that kind of mixed with the water and we'll see how it goes. All right. I think one thing about a little kitchen, you just got to up and reach and you're done. So, get these on a thing, which is a plate. My things are plates. But there's our sand. Perfect. Now, I'm going to use this because it looks like a beach ball. Okay, always remember to rim first, right? Okay, let's get that. Now, we'll see if it adheres to this. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, look you guys. There, that's your sand for your mermaid water. I could probably make it up here too, a little closer to you guys. Okay, so that worked out. It worked out very well. And time out, time out. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody just stands up like in their kitchen without anything. You just have a drink of that and just just stand here and eat. Just be like. I mean, would you guys watch if I just stood there and ate and drank and said nothing? I don't know. I guess I would if I wanted just to see him. Okay. Sweating. Sweating, sweating, but. Alright. Cat Morgan Spice Rum. Once again, I'm not a rum person, but this sounds like such a refreshing drink that I'm going to do it. Um, once again, you can do more or less of the spiced rum. I'm going to eyeball it. One, two. Okay. Now I'm going to get my eyes. No, I'm not going to get the skulls today, but I think I'm just going to do the regular ice. That just seems the easiest. Okay. Next place I move, I will. Whoa! That was some science science going on there. Well, that's weird. That's I've never seen that before. I'm seeing here, you guys, for the first time. First time. It's actually only going to be uh, 71, I think, at the beach tomorrow for the 4th, so. But the sun's supposed to be out. The sun usually comes out about noon here. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to put a splash of our coconut rum in, which I use Malibu. Got a little thing. Mm, so. One splash, two splash, you know, it's all irrelevant. The drink. I just feel like I need it. I was going to use the little round ones and have it all ready to go, but I was not that prepared today, so that's not going to happen. So we're going to do it like that. Good to go. Next, pineapple juice. And we want to put in as much as we did of our rum. Or, like I said, you guys want more pineapple juice? You just put in what you want. It just calls for the same uh, of spice rum as pineapple juice. And all the other ones are just splashes, right? So there, that's good. And now, for the prettiness, is a blue curacao. And this, you could just do a splash. If, I like it to be a little light blue. I don't like it too dark because I want it to look like the ocean. But uh, maybe a little bit. No, it's, it's going to look like the ocean in Bahamas that is clear water. Not outside here where I'm at. Boo oh, no. new. So then we're going to add a lime wheel to it. Not a wedge, a wheel. So for a wheel, you, you want to cut it in the middle. And we want that whole... That's what you call a wheel. So, I want a wheel to make it look pretty. Like this. And so we're going to throw that in like that. Or it can also garnish it with the wheel. Or, once again, if you have fresh pineapple, it would be perfect. Or and this could be your wheel too. And now, since it is a party time, here, I want to put an umbrella in. See how you need to invest in these little umbrellas? They're really cheap too, like less than two bucks. Okay, so there's that. I need my straw that's too big. So I'm going to take about an inch off of that. And there is your mermaid water, you guys. Perfect. Perfect. And I'll see, I would put a cherry in it. But I'm going to not. And first off, see the string? Do you guys have any of those strapless bras that stick onto you? That's what that is. So sorry. But anyway, cheers. Happy uh, July 3rd. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's good. I want, to, I want to get the full effect with my sand. Ready? Mm. 
Ooh. Mmm. I like that. I like that a lot. I think today I'm just going to sit at the this table here that I have my computer on. Um, that way it will be, I don't have time, take time out to move to the couch today. We're just simplifying it because it's summer and that, so let me put you towards me. Uh, don't want it to fall off though. Okay. So the most important thing is the mermaid water. Mm-hmm. And my dressing. My appetizer. Put that over there. Now, let me jump up here because I think I got this chair too high. Oh yeah, pretty much too high. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh my oh. See, I thought this was going to be short today, you guys. I'm so sorry. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Isn't that not a cute little drink? That's cute. You can have that for the 4th of July. Let's see that water looks like. Clean water. Mm. Mm. When I'm this close to you guys, I feel like, whew, I'm right there. Okay. I'm going to say, you can see my cart, but I guess it's not too messy. All right, you guys, let me see. Let me check the time because I guess I'd rather have my chicken in the full 30 minutes than not. Let me see. Perfect. It is just now half an hour from when I put the first ones in. So, let me get those out and we'll try them. And, mmm, good. And then we can chit chat for a little bit. Just put them on the same plate I have that water and agave on. Just, it will clean up okay. Alright. Now I'm just going to get out. Let me rinse these tongs too. And, oh. <laughs> Would you guys like to see? I moved you over too fast. Sorry. Sorry, but let's get the drink. Mm. Since I waited an hour for it. Somebody goes, well, you can take a shot before you, you come and make your drink. I'm like, okay, if I had a shot before I started cooking, I would be slurring my words. Slurring them. Okay, so this is the first one we put in. Let's see? I'll show you when I get up there. So they look... So yummy. Like anything with Parmesan, I'm good for. I guess I can pull all these sticks out because I put them all in at the beginning. Oh man, I think I dropped. Oh, where'd you build it? Oh, sorry little guy. Oh, well now he went way down. Now he's in my pots and pans. I guess that's my snack for later. Okay. I'll just kind of turn some of these over. Mmm. These look amazing. Just took a couple out. Oh, that one's. Oh, I love the ones. I, th you guys, I think if you, I would do this if I were you. I would, I would, um, get them crispy. It just looks amazing. They look really, really good. Okay. And the crispy part should be even better. Gotta get the cheese, cheese, cheese. Okay, make sure I got my napkin. Here we go. Hmm. My chicken parmesan bites. You know what? I could probably put the fan up over here on. Oh, yeah. Okay, good to go. Good to know. Hope you don't fall off my table. But you never know. Okay. There you go, you guys. Chicken Parmesan bites or chicken Parmesan on a stick. Whichever you want. You can eat them with your fingers. You can eat them with a fork. I wanted to do the very first one that I took out here that I did. On a stick. Here we go. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm. 
Oh. That's my mess. Now you see my mess. And now you don't. I'll be like this. Hey. Mmm. Look at perfect. They are even. They're not even dry like I usually like them, but. Mmm. I have to say, they're kind of. It's kind of handy on a stick. I'm like, hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mmm. Anyway. So what I got about, I heard about this really, really sad story about, you guys hear about the Long Beach Fire Captain who got murdered. Technically, he got shot. He was responding to a call at a retirement home to an explosion. And um, I guess uh, he went in with another guy and they uh, got the fire out and that and the 77 year old man ended up shooting him and and his uh fire the other firefighter and i'm like first of all he's the one he said he um it said that he uh what was it he i was having a, a, this ongoing argument with his neighbor so he he made he's made a bomb and set it off that's how it all started when they got there and then i guess he just thought it's time to kill a fireman and he shot Two of them. The one survived, but the fire captain didn't. He was only forty-five years old. But I'm like, now this, now the seventy-seven-year-old guy, he's up. He's charged with murder and attempted murder because the one guy did survive, but he, you know, he, he shot him too and arson. I'm like, dude. I mean, and I'm thinking, if you're in a retirement home, wouldn't the people that work there? Because I worked in a retirement home, and we knew everything pretty much that was in their rooms. I mean, wouldn't they know that he had a gun? I mean, I don't know. Unless it's just, you know, assisted living or something, but. So, that was sad. Um, but they said they had not had a fatality or a death with the Long Beach Fire Department since 1974. Which is really good, though, but. really liking the graham cracker on there mm. what I'm doing for my drink tomorrow wait till you see what I rim my glass with I have to go find them I hope I can find them I mean it's way for the 4th of July I'll try to get it up early enough so if you guys want to make them for later you can see this is what you do if you didn't have enough sticks just put it in the other piece and eat it right mmm Got my last training session with my trainer. I learned a lot from him, but it was so worth the money. Mm -hmm. mm. And I have a date coming up. I haven't have we met on a site, kind of, sort of, but he's my neighbor. Like, he lives in Manhattan Beach, so I'm like, oh, I can only go out with somebody if they're real close. So, I'm excited about that. That's Thursday night. So, that's my love life. <laughs> There's something else. Um, did you guys hear about, let me see, um, the soccer team in Thailand? Well, I think it was the British soccer team. They got trapped in a cave for 10 days now. They finally found them. And they were like kids from 10 to 16 or 9 to 16. And they were in this cave and the water came up. And they couldn't get out. And, um... I didn't, they're like, most of them can't swim, so they couldn't swim out, but the rescuers just found them. Sorry. But, they're saying it could take up to a month to get them out. Meanwhile, they're, you know, they're giving them, I guess they're eating protein gels, they're saying they gave them and that, but they want to be careful because they don't want to disturb the cave because it could collapse on them. In there, but if I was a parent, I'd be mortified that my child would have to be in there for uh, a, a month. But anyway, they found them, and that's the main thing, so that's good. And here's something 
I should end with this, but this this made my day. There was something good in the news, you guys. I was so happy. I'm like, yeah. So, first of all, Japanese lost the World Cup. That's not the happiness. But they lost the World Cup, but they were just so... Anyway, they didn't leave anything a mess. They had a picture of the locker room when they left. Spotless. Cleaned up. Nothing. No, no garbage. No nothing. Just beautiful. And then... The fans cleaned their section in the stadium. They had their garbage bags and they cleaned up everything. Um, what's God, when do you hear a story like that? When it, that was just amazing. So that was a really good story. I like that one. For every ten bad, there's hopefully one good one. So oh, kind of like it. I, I think rum's growing on me. I don't know. But here's another sad sad story for donut shop people. In the San Fernando Valley, which is where I used to live, and see now, Woodland Hills, Tarzana, they're robbing the mom and pop donut shops. Seriously, you guys, you can't go get a job for all that energy you're doing. Maybe, what are you getting? 50 bucks or whatever, but... Oh, those stories drive me nuts. It's like, go get a freaking job. I don't know if I can say that word, but it's like, they just don't want to, or they just want things free, I think. Cheap, or the easy way. Because I'm like, that just, I just, I'm not, you know, haven't been around that where there's all these robberies and that, but now they're hitting the donut shops. That is so bad. I'm sorry. I hope they catch them. I do. That's just, you know, when you have your own little business and you're just trying to make ends meet, you know, or pay your mortgage, and then you get people like that. I don't know. Hmm, not really good. This would be good with a dipping sauce. Oh, a hot sauce, too. Hmm. Marinara sauce. Hmm. I'm going to heat up just uh, spaghetti sauce. Here's a sad day I know for my kids. LeBron James just got signed to the Lakers and he's not going to be a Cleveland Cavalier anymore. My kids are big Cleveland fans. What? Sometimes money talks, but they say he got $150 million or something for like the next four years or whatever. It was an ungodly amount, but it's like, whoa. That's so crazy, but everybody's happy in L.A. here, like, woohoo, but was, they were uh, pan to Cleveland. They were always taking down his, uh, I don't know, it was uh, a, a huge picture, a Nike picture. He was up there for Nike and that on his jersey, and they were taking, stripping that down off the wall. It was huge, so I don't know how long it was going to take him, but I think, oh, that's, that's sad. They were also happy. Well, you know what? He won. He won for them, so that's that's something they'll have. Maybe they'll have even a better team. I doubt it, but they never know. Never say never. Here's another one. Drinking more coffee leads to a longer life. Hmm. Huh? This is like centuries old. Coffee's not good for you. Coffee is. Oh, now it is. But now it's back. If you drink more than three cups a day, your longevity can be 18% more than a person that doesn't drink coffee. Not like that. I'm like, okay, you have to have that extra cup of coffee now, but I get such a kick out of everything, y'all. They have studies on this every other year on everything. You know, bacon, meat, and that. That's why my theory is eat what you want because... You know, like I said, our grandpas and grandmas ate whatever they want. They didn't have fast food. They ate all the bacon and the sausage, the grease. And they lived, well, my, mine have lived a long life. My grandmas, one was 100 and one was 99. But then again, I think I don't know if I want longevity in my life. I don't think I want to live that long because unless you have your quality of life, I, I mm, that's a long time. But 
If you guys want to live longer, start drinking the coffee. Get the caffeine going. Oh, actually, I did say decaf, too. You could get the same benefits. Um, okay, I don't get Netflix. I had it for a little time when I moved. But they were saying Jerry Seinfeld has a car karaoke show. First of all, I didn't know that. Second of all, it's getting renewed for its 10th season. I'm like, where have I been? I'm like, I haven't heard nothing about that. But um, he, uh, they go, well, how about having Trump on? They go, oh, no. He goes, they got to have funny people on there. they got to be able to make people laugh and that. And that's all he takes in his car. So I don't know if that's true, if you guys watch that. But, well, obviously it is. But I'm like, okay. Woo, you guys, I'm getting full. Oh, hmm. I think I've been eating for three hours. Starting with my dressing. But I'm so happy I have all these leftovers. Um, so, so happy. And my little crunchies. Okay. I can't eat no more. I'll be done. Anyway. It's good to be back, you guys. Come join me tomorrow. Oh, that's my umbrella. Windy in here. I do. I have the fan on. But. Join me tomorrow. I will attempt the red, white, and blue drink. And with a special. A rim of something. That you probably have, wouldn't have never thought about because, as far as I know, they don't have red sugar or blue sugar or that. So I came up with my own, own little thing that might work. Anyway, enough chit chat, and I'm, I got to let you guys go. And I'll see you. I'll see you in the morning, hopefully. Okay, you guys. Bye. I love you guys. Glad to be back. I really, really am.